All right, so, uh, yeah, the whoring has become a subject on this show with Norton because he really wants to stop. And um, I guess the, your mom and dad listen to the program every day? I knew that would be a mistake, too. I knew it. Why? They listened to the show when it was for free, didn't they? Yeah, I know, I know. I just knew it, though. Like, I knew yeah. I can't let your parents listen. You know what I mean? just sex I've lost from regular girls? Because when I talk about it on the air, when I write on the computer, I mean, it's just there's no girl wants to date me after hearing this. How can they? Oh. Well, your mom's very concerned, and she left a little message on your machine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able to play it all the way through. Yeah. It's just a sweet mother concerned about her son. All right, here's the tape. Hi, sweetheart. It's Mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening. Um, uh, ladies uh, of the uh, evening. Uh, <laughs> this is where I stopped the tape earlier. I'm going to lose it again. <laughs> is that... Because it's your mom. You know, she doesn't want to say whores or hookers or yeah. <laughs> ladies of the evening. Ladies of the like, evening. Like she read that in one of her novels, you know. Oh. One of those romantic novels where they make everything yeah. all nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know you're trying to give up partaking in the world's oldest profession. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any guilt on your part about what your parents have to think well, I feel bad that I'm so <laughs> honest, but no, I know guilt. I yeah. love my parents. I get along great with my parents. No, no, I don't. I've hung out guilt. with Jimmy's parents. They are the nicest, the nicest oh, yeah. sweetest no, people I, you'll I, ever I meet. I know, but the, the fact that they even have to make phone calls like this. Yeah, I do feel a little bad. Not only that, but her mom has to look at my mom has to look at her like her librarian friends. Right. Her mom's a librarian. She just retired. She's a librarian. She's got a librarian. Like eye contact. Oh, your son, toilet <laughs> chest. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I gotta start this over again. Yeah, let's, let's, Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. Sweet How heart. are you, Jimmy? I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening, um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? <laughs> Doctor Phil always says replace something with something. <laughs> Doctor Phil? <laughs> How does Doctor Phil get into this? I don't know. I, I she, don't know. Because she's a mom. She watches Doctor Phil. She picks up some tidbits of psychiatry and decides she's going to help her boy. I have to know what Dr. Phil says about weak-chinned man with fat tits and prostitute habits. <laughs> what does Dr. Phil say about that? What would Dr. Phil say there? Oh. Mom. She, got, oh. she gets her advice from Dr. Phil, and she's going to pass it along to her little son. <laughs> little Jimmy. Get off those uh, ladies of the night. It's a good thing. Jimmy Keeping Robin it positive. Jimmy Robinson and Helen say that if you want to replace <laughs> something with... <laughs> God, am I an ass? <laughs> you want to replace Monster Rain? <laughs> um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. Oh, <laughs> oh she's trying to kill two birds with one stone here, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. There's gyms in New York. The nice gym you have downstairs. You have a nice gym downstairs. If you're banging any, a hooker for 20 minutes, why don't you jump on the treadmill? Anything could have been downstairs. <laughs> Zarkawi's beheading equipment. You could go down there, just lop off the head of, of, of an imperialist. <laughs> just, you know, replace it with something. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing in my sleep Dr. tonight. Dr. Phil. could go. You could exercise, and uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight. You'd tone up, mm. and you relieve, you know, tension and stuff, and you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody. <laughs> you could work out, tone up. I wouldn't have to be embarrassed to be seen with you. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you could not look like Philip Seymour Hoffman in Boogie Nights when you wear a half shirt. <laughs> She's telling me to tone up. Let's translate that. Maybe if you got in the gym, Noel wouldn't have gotten a fucker for free, fat tits. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Oh. Maybe if you had a little stick to you wouldn't have to cough up a thousand or five hundred. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
Get off the hooker. Get on a bow flex, mom. <laughs> And she said you can get rid of some energy, which I know she's saying, yeah. like, that, that energy I have that, that goes into bad things could be yes. used for working out. Lifting a barbell. Tone up a little bit. <laughs> Lift dumbbells. Don't fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what mom trying to say. <laughs> Pick up weights. Don't, don't lose it because you have AIDS. <laughs> I'm drooling. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Holy uh, ass. Oh my God! Oh. oh, try the clean and snatch, <laughs> not the dirty snatch. Do some rolling, not hauling. <laughs> uh. Oh. God, if I knew more gym equipment, I could make this bit longer. <laughs> See? What a lazy you fat get nothing. In the gym. <laughs> yeah, a bit of barbell. <laughs> <laughs> this bit doesn't need to be longer. It is what it is. Be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just I'm thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. <laughs> so uh, don't get offended yeah. or think I'm strange. But I am a mother, and I worry about you. Yeah. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help. It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it.